places. It's Animal Encounters Village, and you can always see a lot of really cute animals there, Emily. That's right. This is a brand new area, and the place that I'm standing in right now is our brand new tour space. So you can actually come in this room and book a private tour, and there's so many amazing animals that you get to see. Um, you're going to actually get to see one right now. You love. We have one of our blues in the park coming out. Her name is Kramer. Aww. Now, the whole idea of this village area is we love to talk about what you can do to save wildlife. And so, you know, we have a lot of different species that you have the opportunity to get up close and personal and meet. And it's just something cool to come out in the winter time and do because, you know, there's not a lot of places you can go where it's indoors uh, at this time of year. Does Kramer speak? So Kramer, <laughs> she speaks when Kramer wants to. I guess. She's an amazing bird. She's actually been with us for years and years and years. Um, but she comes out. She's usually not one of the ones that's the most popular. But a lot of our animals come out and do a bunch of behaviors that you can see in this area. We talk about all the training that we do. Does Kramer have like Seinfeld friends? Seinfeld friends? <laughs> Actually, Kramer was hatched years ago at the Columbus Zoo, and, and she was named after the veterinarian, Dr. Kramer, who, who helped her hatch out of the egg. So Kramer's been with us for years and years. I believe she's in her 30s, actually. Oh, my gosh. So she's, she's just about as old as the show. Maybe she even coined the name. So I, I, I love that. So... She actually had help hatching out of the egg. Um, yes. What are, so she's not a baby, but there are a lot of babies that are in Animal Encounters Village. Yes, Animal Encounters Village is a great place to see a lot of baby animals. So it, 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 besides just the tours that you can see in this very room, there's outdoor events. So in the wintertime, you have the opportunity to come in and check out our new sand cats. We actually have some young otters, some Asian small pod otters. Ooh. There's battered foxes. There's a ton of different species that we rotate in and out throughout the exhibit, so you might not see the same thing every day. So it's a cool place to keep coming back and checking out and really get that amazing conservation message. And it's really helpful because, you know, this weekend when we dip down to 8 degrees, <laughs> we want to go inside. Exactly. And in the wintertime, that's my favorite thing to do. You know, now that the zoo is half price admission through the end of February, I like to box in the exhibits and kind of go from place to place and even booking some of these tours that are indoors. It's a smart thing to do. <laughs> no doubt. And so if anybody want to, wants any more information on these tours or how they can get a different experience at the zoo than what they normally have, what do they do? Yeah, so you can go to the ColumbusZoo.org website. Under the Discover tab, there is a tab for tours, and it lists every single tour. If you want to come in this room and meet animals like Kramer here or maybe a sloth, um, you check out our Jack Hanna's Animal Encounters Village Tour. And it, it's just incredible. I, I can't speak highly enough about it. It's so cool to learn about all these animals and see a bunch of behaviors that they've been trained to do also. Is Kramy, Kramer your bestie? Are you one of his favorite people? Or her favorite I've people. known Kramer for a very, very long time, yeah. and I actually love the Eagle Macaws. They're one of my favorite birds in the whole world. I just think they're incredible. And macaws are so smart, and they're just so fun to work with. So, yeah, Kramer's a good girl. Well, my niece always had the nickname of Macaw, and I don't think it was a positive thing, but Kramer does seem they're like an awesome girl. Loud, so, there's that. <laughs> Too. Yeah. A little vocal, a little loud. Got it. Emily, thank you so much. <laughs>